So now I'll move to the bathroom. Then from here, I'm just gonna do a polyline. Uh, we'll do from the middle. And then this one I'll do, for example, two feet. I can't remember how wide this bathroom was. Five, seven, yeah, I think four feet is gonna be nice. So I'll offset one time up, one time down. And then we're gonna raise, trim, and then again, try and probably memorize this at this point. Then we're gonna join all these guys. And anyway, at the end, I'm just gonna do one big, one big join. Okay, so for the bedroom, I'm gonna do wider windows. I'm gonna do like six feet wide. So I will do 36, three feet up, three feet down. Might go a little faster now. Um, uh, just so we keep going with this. Because for the most part, you get the idea now of how to do this. I'm gonna also do this bedroom uh, the same, also six feet. Uh, the offset remembers where I was originally. So it uh, remembers the distance. So I'm gonna just zoom in because it was snapping. And here's a trim, here's a joint, and then now we are at the master bathroom. So the master bathroom, I might, I'm just gonna place like a, a window here. I'm just gonna do like uh, four inches because I, I think I might change the layout as we're working on it, but I will do a four feet here like this because I'm planning to have like a tub on this portion and then we'll add like a, a shower from here. Um, and then we're just gonna join this. Maybe I should add the wall right now for the shower. So I know I want to do the shower at three feet. So like this. And then here we will do another three feet. And then we'll do five inches. And then like this. And then I'll trim this portion. And I'll join it. And then we, as you will see, like once we start creating, like adding blocks and, and creating like the fixtures of the bathroom and the kitchen, we will focus on this. Now this one, I do want to modify it, so I do have space. So we will do, I'll do like three inches or four inches more. And then this one, I'll add four inches to it. Let me see how wide is this right now. So four, six, here's another dimension. So this one is seven and this one is eight inches. So I do want to have like a four feet window. So I'll just add basically three feet from here and then three feet from here. And like it's roughly, this is looking good. So this is 10 inches. This is probably 11. Okay, so I'm happy with this. We're just going to go with it. Um, and then we'll add the master bathroom door. So since I have the shower here, I'm just going to add the door somewhere in the middle. Uh, so let's do from here and then let's offset. I'll do, I'll do, uh, so I will do two feet eight. So we will do an offset of one feet four, one time to the right, time to the left. Uh, and I'm going to trim this, trim these and join them. And then as you can see, like the joining is helping us to modify the poly lines properly. Uh, I will move this away four inches away from the shower. I do want to have more space, maybe just four more. Uh, and then let's see here the dimension. We have two feet seven. This should be good for a vanity. This is two eight. And then the shower, three feet 11. So this is all looking good so far. Um, I'll leave this here. We might move it a little bit, but for the most part, this is good. And then the walk-in closet is gonna modify the dimension to be farther like this. Uh, the walk-in closet, I'm just gonna do the door from the corner here. So we will do like four inches like this and we'll offset uh, three feet or not three feet. We'll do two feet eight. Okay, the trim, the dimension might get messed up. No, it's looking good. So we have the doors and now let's add the entry door to the master. Uh, so I'll just make it from the middle and I will offset it uh, one foot four to the right. Like this and the trim and then join everything here, all these segments. And it's this one, so this is good. And then for the master bedroom, I'm thinking to add like one wide window on this side and then like a few on the side, depending on where we put the, the bed. If I place the bed here, then I would rather the windows on the sides. Uh, if I do the bed here, then I would rather windows like on the sides. Um, so maybe we will put the bed on this side and then here we will do like two long windows. So we will do skinny windows here on this side, calling them skinny, they're just like a little shorter. So we'll move this actually four inches more and then we'll do three feet like this. And then I will mirror this from the middle point that I have here. And then I'll trim here, here, and then we'll join all of these guys. Again, the join doesn't affect the dimensions. And then here we will do 
uh, like wide windows. So I'm thinking uh, we'll do, for example, let's do like two feet away from here, and then we will do six feet. And then before I trim, I'll just mirror it to the other side, like this. One of these can become a door like to the backyard. Um, it's up to you really. You're welcome obviously to modify the design to your liking. Uh, I'm not gonna do any openings on this side because I do wanna keep this side like kind of private for the master bedroom because we're gonna have access here. And now let's do a door for the backyard. So here I'm planning to do a six foot wide door, like a double door, maybe a sliding glass door. We'll see what we'll do here, but most likely a sliding door. So we have this here. And then for the kitchen, I'm just gonna add one. I'm gonna, I'm thinking of adding like three windows here. So I will do like one above the sink because I'm planning to place uh, the sink like right in the middle here. Oops, okay, this didn't work. So let's do four feet offset right here. And then I will do another like windows. I'm gonna do this one two feet away and then do just like three feet wide windows just to bring in like more light to the kitchen. And then we're gonna do like a mirror to the other side. Don't have a mirror, I don't have a middle point right now. So I'll just create a line like this from here to here. And then I'm gonna mirror it. Okay, so you can always use, uh, you can add additional lines to allow you to do the different things you wanna do. Okay, so the kitchen for the most part is done. And then for the dining, I'm planning to add like a wide opening, a very wide opening. So we will do like uh, a sliding door and then maybe lights on the side. Lights is like the uh, the uh, like the glass panels essentially, and I do want to kind of place it like in the middle here. So I'm gonna do a rectangle here. So I do want this like to be the dining space. And this is the living space. Maybe I did the living room like maybe I did the dining really big, but again the purpose is just to show you everything. You're welcome to modify the design, but anyway. So now that I have this, I can actually have a middle point here, and I will reference that. I'll do a polyline. And then we can get rid of this. And I think I didn't get rid of it. Here's a race. And then we're going to offset three feet like this, and then three feet to the bottom. And then I'm just going to offset uh, one more, going to offset by four inches. I'll show you what I'm trying to do. And then hopefully, like on elevations, when we get to it, it will make more sense. Um, and then I will add like two feet more here, like this. Okay, it didn't do the right direction. And then another offset, they want it to this side. And then we'll do a trim, trim, trim. And then I'll join all of these guys. And then for the living room, I'm planning on leaving this wall for the most part. Maybe we'll add windows, but I don't want to touch it. I want to place all the windows on this side, like facing the street, kind of. This is how I'm imagining it, like the entry is from the bottom. Uh, and maybe we'll add a property line and create like a very basic site plan as well. Okay, so here's a polyline. And then here I'm gonna do uh, two feet wide, and then uh, maybe we'll make them bigger. So I'll move this one foot, and then I'll move this one one foot away. So now we have like a six foot uh, window, uh, and then we're gonna do another one. So here I'll do uh, let's say one foot. Don't know if I have the space. Yeah, I don't have the space, so I will need to move uh, maybe six inches. Let me see what I have here. So we have six feet. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to add like three six feet windows. So maybe I'll just stick the four feet window now, like this. Oops, the offset is jumping to the wrong direction. So here's 40 feet to the right. And then I'll just move this like six inches more. I think I should have like one foot on this side and then one foot between them potentially. Okay, one foot six inches. I can make it exactly like uh, equal. So I'll just add three inches here. So this is one foot three. Uh, and again, the dimension I'm using, I'm typing B, and that's the shortcut we customized. And this is looking good. And then we're just going to mirror this as well to the other side. I can get rid of all the dimensions and then a quick trim for all of them and a big join for all the polylines. And now I think for the most part, we actually have all the openings that I wanted to add.